UAV if I could be David Von der Hall for a day, then Call of Duty would be great again. These are the things that I would do to fix Black Ops 3 if I was Vaughn for a day. You are now tuned in to the one and only Mr. Merciless Badass. Yeah. Welcome to the Murder Show. What's the goddamn deal, people? Welcome to the Murder Show. And welcome back to another fire-ass video, baby. If I could be David Bondi Hall for a day, then Black Ops 4 would be the funnest Call of Duty game to play. I guarantee that shit. Now, I'm coming straight off of the heels of my last commentary. If you ain't seen it, be sure to check it out and sign the petition to get David Von the Hall the fuck out of the way so that maybe Black Ops folk can be saved by somebody. But if that person was me, how would I save it? Say it with me. We take out 150 health and put in 100? You got damn right. You got damn right. It was a good try, Von. Hey, man, great idea. You know, because uh, I play hardcore and core, and honestly, I'll say that core is more enjoyable to play and watch people play because you actually have to win the gunfight. You know, it's not all about who get the first shot. Uh, you know, it's a lot more fun to play than hardcore. Hardcore is cool. It's cool as hell to lay everybody down with one or two bullets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not cool to die to one bullet. So, you know, hardcore is not the answer. I'm sure a lot of y'all, you know, realizing that you're playing... Uh, Black Ops 4. Uh, you finally had enough of core like 4 2 Thunder. Shout out to my nigga Thunder. Thunder finally had enough of core. He stayed coming to hardcore. I'm, I'm, he's not alone. You know, I've been there. I'm sure a lot of y'all have tried to play hardcore to deal with the 150 health bullshit because it's frustrating. You know, it's frustrating. And then you got not only 150 health, then you got bitch vest. That adds additional health. You know what I'm saying? The body armor, call it a bitch vest. Then you have, you know, the, the medic specialist that adds another 50 on top of that. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Seriously. Your gunfights are so inconsistent. And that's the reason why. The game was programmed to be inconsistent to try to encourage even Steven results in the end. Where everybody is, is, is even. Everyone has a 1.0. Everyone got a few kills. Everyone died a few times. Everyone should be happy. No, nigga. No. Stop holding us back. So if I was if I was Vaughn for a day, that would be the first thing I would do. Nigga, show me the health switch, bitch. I'm switch that bitch quick on 100. Right off the rip. What else would I do if I was Vaughn for a day to fix Black Ops 4? I would take out these bullshit specialists. Like you see, he just come grappling through the fucking window. Can't nobody else grapple, bitch. That shit ain't fair, man. That right there is not fair. You know, that adds that element of surprise, that, that element of, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, that bitch shit, you know what I'm saying? That ain't even the word I'm looking for, but that's, that's the best I could come up with. You know, the fucking, the, I don't even, this ain't a rant about specialists, but goddamn, the, all the specialists got to go. They tried this shit in Black Ops 3, right? Stole it from, what was the name of that game? Um, I know y'all gonna tell me in the comment section, Overwatch. Stole it from Overwatch. They tried it out. Okay. All right. I feel you. I didn't really love it in Black Ops 3. And then they brought it back in Black Ops 4. Like, who the fuck loved this shit? Who loved it? And I think the problem with the reason they fucked up with Black Ops 4, they was trying too hard to imitate Black Ops 3 because of its success. They, it's been so hard for them to find success uh, outside of Black Ops 3 that they just, they were afraid to do anything outside of duplicating Black Ops 3. Except minus the boost jumping. But, you know what I'm saying? They duplicated the wrong shit. Nobody realized the only reason Black Ops 3 was so successful is because, you know what I'm saying? Card was in a bad place at that time. And people had faith that Treyarch would make it all better. Because Treyarch at one point in time was the, the best developer. So they had faith in Treyarch. Plus, it was a new system. The PS4 was, you know, had just came out and Black Ops 4 was... Uh, Black Ops 3, rather, was the card that was out at that time when pretty much everybody went ahead and got one. A few people had one the card before, but, you know, everybody didn't have one. But everybody went ahead and got that motherfucker for Black Ops 3, you know? Uh, Black Ops 3 made a lot of uh, microtransaction money because they had guns and supply drops, you know? 
it's not because we love the uniforms and the calling cards. But this dumb fuck think that we love the uniforms and calling cards. So that leads me into the number of... I don't know what the number is, but something else I would do is, nigga, stop, tell the artist to stop making calling cards and designing uniforms and making emblems and spray paints. Everybody needs to start working on guns. And if I was born for a day, it'd be a gun every fucking week. I swear to God. Because one, a, once, a, a, once a month ain't enough. I'd have one to two guns per week raping y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Probably charging 40 to $50 a gun. Because they did it and it worked. You know what I'm saying? It was $80 to go ahead and max out that supply stream. And along the way, you got two guns. And to me, that made sense. I was a little sour. Like, I, I wanted to only pay $20 a gun, but $40 a gun? Okay, then. Bring that shit on. Bring it on. I would flood the game with nothing but guns and, and put a price tag on it if you don't want to grind it out. That's what I would do. I would also have a no specialist playlist. Uh, which would probably end up replacing the regular playlist because at the end of the day, who the fuck really give a damn about a specialist except for Timothy? Goddamn Nathaniel on here for the first time trying to get a goddamn kid streak going on. He needs his goddamn dog. You know what I'm saying? He he need that wall to hide behind. He need those mesh mines. But this ain't his game, though. He play Fortnite. He, shit, the nigga probably, you know, still ride bikes and skateboards. Like, he's not a card boy. Like, stop Developing the game for people that's not card bars. That'll be another thing I do. Everything in here would be for card bars only. Bitch, I will remove all this silly shit in the game. All this fucking Halloween face paint, bitch, it got to go. That shit got to go. All these wild color uniforms, that shit got to go. The boombox camo for your gun, all of that stupid shit. I would take all that shit out of the game. But no, real talk though, because I know a lot of y'all niggas love that shit. Uh, I probably had to leave some of that shit in for y'all because you grown ass motherfuckers like dressing like that. I don't know why. But man, I would just try to bring the game back to realism. You know, let people feel a real vibe, you know, of being in a real environment, playing against real soldiers. You know, that's what we get off to. You know, if you want to do some wild shit, then take it to the future. Okay, the community didn't like it, so y'all step back from the future. Now step back from 150 health, please. I don't want to see this trend continuing next year you know in in modern warfare 4 or ghost 2 whatever we get the 150 health got to fucking stop if i was vaughn for a day that shit would be thrown away what else would i do if i was vaughn the heart for a day shit at this point everybody would get some free card points you know what i'm saying just off the rips just since, since the shit in the game you know and the game is shit but we still got a community let's go ahead and bless them you know why we didn't get no card points for a Christmas gift or something just for, hey, this is a thanks for helping to keep us alive. You know, here's some free card points. No, they don't give a shit. You don't get nothing. It's hard dick motherfucking bubble gun. Huh, Vaughn? They don't give a fuck. And I don't even know why he's so money hungry. When you look at him, he don't look like the type of nigga give a fuck about money. Like, you wouldn't think he was rich looking at him. Look like a fucking bum, but that's really besides the point. That's besides the point, you know. I just wanted to do a part two to the uh, sign a petition to get Vaughn the fuck out of the way and let y'all know what I would do if I was in charge because somebody going to have to replace him. Somebody going to have to replace him. And what else I would do? I would make score streaks. I would put it back to 25 points per kill. I might even make it more than that. I would make score streak kills give you 50 points a kill. That's what I would do. I wouldn't put it back on the 100 already. But I would definitely put some respect back on score street kills, man. I would put a, a game ending nuke in the game. You know, if you go on the 30 gun streak and get the nuke medal, I would give you something to show for it. Even if it didn't end the game, you would at least be able to drop it and everybody would know that you was a big badass. Uh, but Trevor, we don't like those. Who fuck? Who, ca who cares what you like? You make the game for us, bitch. Are you making it for yourself? No, because Von der Hall plays Fortnite. He ain't even making it for himself, yet he's making the kind of game that he thinks was fun. That's what they got to stop doing, bro. If I was Von for a day, I would get a community what they want. I'd put a feast set in the game. Yes, I would. Feast set. I know that you try hards don't need the V set. If you can earn a V set, you probably don't need one. You already making it hard on people in the lobby, and the V-Set just gonna enable you to make it even harder. 
But you know what? I'm a car boy, and I know at the end of the day that that's what Call of Duty is. Going on a gun streak, calling in a, a, a kill streak, wreaking havoc on the lobby. That's what the game is about. I'd make Carl great again. I'd bring it back to his roots. I wouldn't be a bitch about it like Von Der Hall. You know what I'm saying? But talk to him in the comment section, man. Y'all let me know what would y'all do if you could be Von Der Hall for a day. Fuck with your boy, man. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to pimp slap the piss out of that like button for your boy. Leave me a comment. And be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.